Good morning, morning from, from Liverpool. Liverpool. We are ready to hit the ground running and walk it <laughs> and explore. This one's really convenient because you're literally right in town. So yeah. it's nice and we have a really long day. True. No yeah. transit required other than your feet. Um, we've hopped on free tours by foot and booked a free gratuity based walking tour today to learn all the history, all the stuff and things. Yeah. And I think it'll be fun. Those have been really good for us so far, so I'm excited to do another one. Yeah. And then we'll wander around some more after that and see what's up. Grab some food, hopefully. Yeah. All right, let's <laughs> dig in. Start the day. Let's grab a quick breakfast. Breakfast acquired. All right, let's head off and find the meeting spot for the tour. Welcome to deck four. It's a little chilly this morning, but it's supposed to get up to about 70 degrees today. As we'll walk down this path next to these giant bumper boat boat bumpers. <laughs> what do they call the things you hang on the side of a dock so a boat doesn't hit it? I want to call it a dolphin, but I don't know if that's the right word. Courtesy shuttle bus available. Well, that's nice. Maybe that's what these vans are. Welcome to Liverpool. Let's climb. Well, maybe the shuttle bus delivers here. I didn't really see an option for it, but we are going city center. Oh, wow. Big complex with shops and things. We have made it. Now we have about a mile stroll to meet up with the starting point of this tour. It doesn't start near the dock, so I don't know that it's designed for cruisers, but we're gonna make it work. There's so much to look at right here at the port. We'll have time. That's true. Now watch that sidewalk. We've made it over to St. John's Gardens. Oh, this is all pretty and historic looking. We have made it to this fountain, which is our meeting point. It's S-T-E-B-L-E. -E. So, stable fountain, maybe? But we've just gotten all checked in and we are ready for the tour to begin. Looks like we're here just outside Liverpool Central Library. Some museums and whatnot. Well, we already got 3,300 steps in before we even start this tour. Mile and a half done. Nice. They're also running the same tour at the same time with a different guide who's got a group doing it in Spanish down there. So Spanish tour, English tour. <laughs> well, fun fact that we just learned, since we are here on a Monday, the National Gallery, Library, and things like that are closed. So, whoops, but there are a few things I think that we are gonna get to go inside. See a lot of outside basking, you know how it is. We just wanna walk around and see pretty stuff in the city and learn a little bit about the Beatles. Well, our guide Terry says that we normally start over around that building, but they've got it fenced off because they are shooting a movie over there. What movie he does not know, because it's a secret. And we're off. Oh, their theater appears advertising Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Annie, Dirty Dancing, Heather's 42nd Street, and Titanic the Musical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not planning on watching the cruise ship. Yeah, let's don't watch that. <laughs> So we're at least gonna come get a peek at the facade of this uh, blocked off building where they're shooting a movie. Kids of John is here using a book called Chester of 30 miles away from here. All right, hop on, hop off people. You're loud back there. <laughs> oh, there's a Peaky Blinders connection here. Yeah, it's hard to hear from out here, especially with the uh, on the camera. So we'll just give you some highlights as we go along. <laughs> Oh, this theater we saw earlier, I guess the Beatles appeared there 11 times. Now we're on the move again. Now we're wandering back over here where we started to get a little bit more info. Look at all these cobblestones. The unique thing about the statue itself is that cast from cannons. Stable fountain, okay, not stable. <laughs> I'm getting into some Beatles connections now. I guess Ringo Starr played on the roof of this building. I think it's in 2008. <laughs> Next up, part of the Central Library, I suppose. Or something adjacent. Oh, this is a restroom stop as well. He said just to be a little quiet in here because folks are reading and working and things. Speaking of reading, into the reading room. It smells like books in here. You know the smell of books. I can't read.
read these? They're all in British. Oh, no. It really is. They've got some volumes on display. Lots of cases, actually. Old Lang Syne, 1859. Illustrated songs. Oh, there's some from the 1700s. All right, we've got about five minutes to peruse in there. Now we'll head back out. The Beatles, oh, Jerry and the Pacemakers. I think we've got a little connection to them coming up later after we finish this tour. Way out. Back out into the sunshine. Some of these letters down here are red. I wonder if they spell out any secret message. Me and secret messages. <laughs> well, there's the World Museum, which of course is closed because it's Monday. Oh, there's an aquarium in there too. Fun fact. If you've ever been to San Juan, these bluish cobblestones might look familiar. It's because San Juan got their cobblestones from Liverpool. Ta-da! I don't know if that was fun, but it was a fact. We haven't learned that on this tour. We learned that in San Juan, actually. Uh, St. John's Gardens, I guess this is a memorial to, I think they call it the Hillsborough Disaster of 1989, where some folks were unfortunately crushed at a sporting event. We're learning about that now. All right, on to more cheerful things, he says. <laughs> Hello, bus. <laughs> Let's see if we can bask without a bus. Hello, traffic light. <laughs> Ooh. Shakespeare House. There's the big observation tower, which I guess you can go up. There's a radio station up there now. I think he said about seven pounds to go up there. It used to be like a restaurant up until the 60s or the 70s, but they shut that down. Brian Epstein. Oh, we're really getting into some Beatles stuff now. This is Eleanor Rigby. Eleanor Rigby. No. Oh, there's even an Eleanor Rigby Hotel down here next to the adult entertainment place. It's a time capsule as well. Inside is a page of the Bible for religion, a children's comic book for children's entertainment, a pair of sports socks, a pair of football socks for sport. Now we're heading toward Matthew Street, so we're told. Oh, look at that. Right above the Beatles shop, we got a statue. So it's good to put your statue up high. People can't block your shot. See that? Uh, unless like a giant basketball player or somebody comes by. Oh, I see up ahead the Cavern Club. It's also a giant neon turtle. <laughs> oh, Beatles Museum. Beatles tunes coming out of the museum. Oh gosh, let's try to get the whole thing. <laughs> Well, this museum is owned by Pete Best's half-brother. Funny, you can still see Pete's name down there. We've got his picture up right. Barely see it. Stewart up there as well. Oh, funny, we've snuck in to peek inside the entrance. They sort of have a recreation of, what is that painting called? Creation of Man, I think, up on the roof. Our guide was calling it the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> and the murals and everything in there are cool. Now we will have a meander down this street, I guess, toward a Cavern Club. Oh, who is this lady? Hello, lady. Well, judging by the record down there, I guess, You're My World by Scylla Black. That should answer the question maybe of who this is. Very nice. The original Cavern Club entrance. Oh, turtle Bay. There's that neon turtle. Learning about the Beatles style. All right. 
The turtles were a band too. It's okay. Oh really? So happy together. Hey. Oh, we're standing right across from the punk rock mecca and I didn't even know it. Oh now we'll continue down Matthew Street. Oh! A little statue. International Wall of Fame. This is a bad statue of John Lennon. Yep, we'll say goodbye to Matthew Street. Roll on. Oh, there's some of that siren ambiance. Oh, hey, Statue of Victoria. Oh, there's some like scopey things. Well, they're all facing off in this direction. Interesting. So we've reached Darby Square. I guess it was a former site of their castle. Ooh, we'll see if we can brighten her up at all. Man, I had to crank it up in order to see Victoria. Made everything else shiny, shiny. From here, we'll jump across to Castle Street. I see a sign that says Lower Castle Street. Ah, we're going this way. Sanctuary stone. Uh, what it was now. Markets or fairs could only be held within these four stones. Oh, there's a little plaque about the Sanctuary Stone. A nice town hall, second oldest building in the city. Now we're gonna head back down to the waterfront. So funny, this tour I believe will kind of end where we are. Y'all, we done lost our tour. No, we met a gentleman named Rob in the street. He's he a friend here. of the channel, lives in Liverpool, yeah. got chatting with him. The tour group went poof and off they go. It's okay, we're, we're in a walkable area. We know where yeah. we're going. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see if we can walk down to the water and find him. If not, no big deal. We really wanted to say hi to someone yeah, who wanted I know. to say hi. You know what I mean? Good to meet you, <laughs> Rob, if you watch this video. So sweet. Let's wander on. He gave us some tips from Liverpool. He did. Actually some Caribbean sure. islands. He got a lot of tips. It was <laughs> really nice. So all we know was the tour was going to end at the waterfront. I don't want to be those people who, you know, took 75% of a tour and didn't get to give gratuity to the tour guide. So we're going to hope, hope we can find him. We didn't get any sort of a text contact or anything like that. Well, if I were leading a tour, would I have turned left at this point or right? Hey, there's the ship. I know the Maritime Museum is over here somewhere, but it's closed today. All right, we're making a guess. There is a famous Beatles statue in this direction, and I feel like that would have been part of the tour. This is like a new game. Find your tour guide. Oh, we've spotted our group. Wow, we're smart. Well, there's the Beatles statue. Edward VII, I believe that says. Hey, look, our tour guide. Here's where they keep their dice on tour. <laughs> Just here outside the Mercy Ferry building, which hopefully is the uh, future adventure plotted for us. Spoiler alert, but we are heading over to the Beetle statue. There's a museum of Liverpool. Cool building of Liverpool. <laughs> Clock tower of Liverpool. That's why I don't give guided tours. There's a picture of the Beatles walking down the street in London. But if you notice, you look at the photograph, and you look at the actual statue, they're in a different order. So this is the next to last stop. He said you can wander back over and see the statue when we get to the actual end stop. Oh, it's cool. Check out that little boat. Well, here's all your hop on, hop off options that you can buy right here on the streets, I guess. Oh, funny, the movie Yesterday was filmed part of it here. Titanic was actually built in Belfast. Sailed from South Africa. Was supposed to visit Liverpool, but didn't because of the rough weather. Well, never mind. I said next to last stop earlier, but we got a few stops. All right. I'll just get 
So we've wrapped up the tour officially. We learned about these lamb bananas here, uh, the sculpture project. Getting a few more tips out of the guide now. Oh, the cathedral, okay. Yeah, a lot of people heading over to the Tate Museum because I guess it is open on Mondays, which is good. Oh, wow, we can just see the top of the cathedral right there above the word Lewis behind that building. About a 15, 20 minute walk. All right, well now we have officially wrapped up our post tour. We're just <laughs> kind of standing here remarking like how much history wow. and things there are to do just in this tiny little area. Well, that's a horse statue. They got the Lusitania propeller right here. All sorts of maritime stuff. If you're here any day other than a Monday, you could probably make a good day out of museuming it up, Absolutely. learning maritime history. Right now, I kind of want to learn about a snack and a drink, probably. Definitely need some water. So <laughs> yes. we're getting ready to go ride on the ferry across the Mercy, as it were. Any Jerry and the Pacemakers fans? Um, we need but to listen to the song. That's true. I really don't know how don't the song know. goes. There was a whole movie. I think it was back in the '60s. Anyway, let's find. A convenient snack and drink and then roll back over here toward where the ferry loads up Yay. well first thing we see is this lounge cafe bar i mean i like all those words it's conveniently close yeah <laughs> brasco that's the word and we go so sit where you like order at the bar i got a little scan order and pay menu water station up there you can grab as much as you like and stay hydrated check out some of the ambiance in here. D has gone with a drink called a Berries and Cherries Caipiroska. Sounds good. You also got the Mexican Super Bowl. Very Liverpool. Very <laughs> Liverpool. <think> <laughs> uh, I got their Cherry Cola, which is an alcoholic take on a Cherry Coke. And this is the Nasi Goreng, which is like a Malaysian fried rice. Bunch of stuff topped with an egg. We're, we're so Liverpool right I now. Mean, it's like Mexico and Malaysia. <laughs> Well, that was a nice little find. I am thoroughly satisfied. I have some spicy red peppers in mind. Woohoo! Mine was delicious. Yeah. Vegetarian, too. Now we are heading over here for that ferry cross the Mercy. We got a gentleman playing some Beatles tunes by the Beatles statue now. He's riffing on Come Together. Fab Four Cafe. Here's where we are the Mercy Ferries Terminal. Departures on the hour. Well, we had to check in at the desk. They were able to trade our pre-booked email confirmation for some tickets. We just wait out here. I want to ride on that ferry down there. Oh, okay. Later. <laughs> Later. Not a problem. All right, about a quarter till the hour. They've opened the gates and allowed us to line up down here. Our ride has not come back yet, but it should be soon. It is a 50-minute cruise. 5-0. That might be our ride right there, actually. Sliding in from the side. Well, we've hopped on board. We've come into this nice little sort of um, shaded area that is still outside, has a railing, and some little cozy chairs you can pull up. And have all these views. I mean, right now we've got views of people getting on. But soon it'll all change. I feel like we're on a cruise again. We're shoving away from the dock. Here we are for sail away. What time is the sail away party? Oh, that was a noise, wasn't it? We're ready for adventure. There we go. The vibrating is calming down now. I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to put some music over that if it makes that noise the whole time. Yeah. I think it's just the excitement of the engines getting us going. <laughs> massage feature is really nice, I gotta say. Ah. Oh, we're getting our rotate on. I can see back to our ship down there. If I can be heard. 
The engine does calm down sometimes, but it seems to be uh, more rumbly than not rumbly, I would say. bank of the river I guess because this is a ferry after all we're just doing the round trip voyage and we're off again now we're getting another safety demonstration another safety drill I guess for the folks who just got on board because there's the ship way down there. Now we'll just loop around, have a peek at the other side as we sail on back. the side that we are on over toward the dock. Just glide in calmly. There is our dock once again. Bonk. This is our nice little outside area where you can perch here and get some sunshine. We were happy to have it made into shade, though. <laughs> oh yeah, side note, one thing that we did learn, the starboard side had the better views. We sat port side and we saw everything from much further away. Starboard, sit starboard. Yeah. Liverpool City Ices. All right, we're gonna pay one more visit to our friends, the Beatles. See if we can get that photo up before we get out of here. One boat to another ship. Let's head back. <laughs> back through security. We get to go down this little slopey thing. You can just hop on these uh, handrails and go wee and slide. Me first. Uh, maybe not. They've got like a full on baggage carousel and stuff in here. That's cool. I guess this is a proper embarkation port or debarkation port. This way, please. Looks like we've got face towels and waters out here. Home sweet home. Woohoo! clean dinner time and we are hungry yes so hungry it's a little later than normal d had a little bit of a work emergency and We're spent not gonna talk three about hours it. on the phone with a cruise line anyway <laughs> we are going to eat some food yeah. and tell me about your day here in liverpool liverpool is amazing i love how close everything is super walkable really enjoyed free tours by foot mm -hmm. got lots of inf intel about the beatles which is really awesome yeah. you have to do beatles stuff in liverpool you obviously got to. um really liked where we ate lunch 
very convenient. It was handy. And the River Mercy was cool. It was cool. It was noisy. I don't know if I would do it again. We would probably <laughs> find a different quieter place to sit, but I like where we sat. Yeah. The views were beautiful, and I think I might be a one and done. Yeah. It was fun. I say do it, but I don't know that uh, yeah. you have to do it. <laughs> Because you can get the views from like here too. That's true. Yeah. So, but yeah, the free tours by foot was awesome. No. Thanks to the Beatles for being from Liverpool. <laughs> uh, it was a very pretty city though. It was. Yeah. And I'm glad we caught back up to our tour because we got to gratuity our man. I would have felt I, horrible. I would have <laughs> too. But great to, meet, great to meet our friend in the yeah. streets there too. Y'all, we're going to eat. I got to quit babbling. So, Let's go get food. Food. And Show, we'll. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Bye. <laughs>dessert menu we've got all the beverages on one side all the good stuff I don't know if crusty is a word that I really associate with my yum yum dessert but you know what <laughs> maybe out we go well, there's like a Beatles party on the piazza I think we're gonna settle in at good spirits so this, of course, is the menu where you can travel the world from the comfort of your own bar chair. <laughs> so we're just going to dig in here and see what we come up with. Oh, outside we are passing a giant, giant wind farm from the looks of it. Wow. You can sit in here and rock out to the Beatles, too. So D has gone with the vanilla sky from Tahiti, and I got the Bangkok mule, which is from Detroit. Bangkok. It's from Bangkok. It's from Bangkok. <laughs> There's our pilot boat. We're making some progress now. Good, Good night. night. We are back in the cabin. Ready for bed. Yeah. We didn't do much, so... No, we really didn't. We decided <laughs> we went, to bypass the yeah, show. We went yeah. to dinner, and then we went and looked at the windmills out the mm. window, which is really cool, actually. We didn't show much of it, but had a couple of the Good Spirits cocktails. Yeah. Guys, we've been walking like five plus miles every day. <laughs> so we've been we're, doing good, okay? Be proud of us. We're, we're very tired, but it's great. It's been amazing getting all those steps in and seeing all the beauty that's out there. So, But um, it does make you a little bit sleepy. <laughs> yeah. I won't lie. <laughs> yeah, the show tonight was called Can't Stop mm -hmm. the Music, and it was the same cast of, was it four or six? It was the singers six. we saw like the very yeah. one of the very first shows. They're good. And they have one more show. I'm assuming we'll they were very good tonight as well. <laughs> we just don't know. Y'all, yeah. let's dig into dinner, shall we? So we both actually got the potted shrimp. Now, I didn't know what a potted shrimp was. What was your potted experience? Um, I guess it's like a UK dish. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's shrimp and they're in butter with, what, did it say nutmeg? It's, I didn't taste nutmeg. Uh, me neither. I think it was a take on potted shrimp. And it served with like toast and stuff. It was good. I thought it was oil. Jay said it was butter. Uh, the Wikipedia it didn't article taste like butter. <laughs> said butter. But you don't like eat that part. Right. Just put it on the toast and eat it. It was really good. You can drink that bowl of butter if you want to. Don't do it. Well, I didn't. <laughs> Did not. Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. I yeah, I'd get it I would again. get it again. It was entertaining yeah. enough. And then which one of these is yours? There you go. Your salad. I don't know what they call it. It was like greens and citrus or something like that. Salad. It was like citrus segments pecans, greens, tomatoes, and I did balsamic. It was really good. Enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> I had the croquette, which was pretty good. I actually liked the little sauce underneath it. I don't know. There was um, chunks in that sauce. Oh. I think they were meat chunks, and I love a good meat chunk. Weird. I mean, the croquette itself was good, but when you paired it with that sauce, Mmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I'd get that um, lots more. You had some fish. Uh, salmon, it was salmon, which is also on like the UK menu that they had. I'm not sure. It wasn't like mushy peas. It was 
green something or other that needed salt. Um, I love veggies. green something or other. I do find that it's like lacking in flavor in, in some of the meals that I've had like on this ship particularly. Like just a little bit of salt would add so much. So I put my own and it was fine. Yeah, it's on the table so you yeah. can add, as you, it's hard to remove salt so I'd it rather is. it be under salty. Yeah, it needed some. <laughs> and then I had the, what is that even? Turkey medallion. Oh yeah. <laughs> Parmesan crusted turkey. I almost forgot what I had. It and it was like it, yeah. No, it doesn't. And it was on a bed of sweet potatoes with green beans. Weird combination, but the turkey, I mean, okay. It's white meat turkey breast, sliced thin and fried. Yeah. So it was dry, but I mean, the flavors were good. I really like the sweet potatoes. I don't know if I'd get it again, Yeah. but it was dry. I mean, it was kind of tasty. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. You had a sugar-free fruit tart. I did. It was good. It was kind of like a like a shortbread or a cookie base, basically, with just some random melon and pineapple and some strange fruit for that <laughs> topping of the tart. I don't know. I didn't feel like that went together. And then the sauce was good on the side, though. Did you say base, basically? I probably did. <laughs> um, and I had a banana tart. It was the crusty banana tart, in fact. <laughs> it had crust. It had a limited amount of bananas. Mm -hmm. The funny thing is, I took a bite of it. There were zero bananas in it, and I didn't enjoy it. I gave you a bite, yeah. which apparently had bananas, and you're like, yeah, it tastes like banana. Because he's like, what does it taste like? I'm like, banana? It tasted like nothing. So then I took a third bite, which had no bananas, and did not enjoy it. The last bite finally had a banana for me, and I finally got it's it. because you gave me one of them. <laughs> so when you get a banana, it's, it's good. good. When you don't... I didn't care for it. It was just kind of like a little cream tart or but something. Keep in mind, this is a 12-day cruise, so they're oh. kind of changing up the menus, and they do, like, I would call them, like, port menus, basically. Yeah. So you may not have these same things, honestly. That's true. Yeah. We're going to bed now after yes. we watch some Love Boat. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, guess what? Another port. This is very port intensive, <laughs> y'all. We don't get another sea day till day eight. But it's all right. We're yeah. enjoying it. We just walk a lot, which is great. <laughs> Belfast tomorrow. Yes. I'm excited. So come back for some Northern Ireland. Yeah. Good night. Good night. <laughs>